This year, at the Susquehanna Annual Conference, attendees have had the privilege of listening to Reverend Adam Hamilton, pastor of the Church of the Resurrection in Kansas City, Kansas, with 18,000 members. Thank you so much for coming and speaking. Oh, my pleasure, thank you. I've heard that this is your 25th annual conference that you've spoken at. What compels you to uh, go to speak to the other churches and leave your home church? Sure. Well, we consider these leadership revivals, and our church is really committed to wanting to see the United Methodist Church have a future with hope. So we take all of our best ideas and all the stories that might inspire people, and, and the thought is every year I go to five or six conferences, and if I can help those conferences have a few tools to help them be more effective, and then also inspire them to remember what's great about being United Methodist, and, and then the call of Christ for us to reach out to our communities. If I leave and they feel energized and inspired and go back to their local churches ready to help renew their church and reach outside their walls, we consider it a success. So that's the idea is take, I do three 90 minute sessions, one on leadership, one on preaching and worship, and one on missional outreach. And then I share those in every one of the annual conferences and our hope is that hopefully that'll make a difference in, in churches' lives. How do you prepare and discern what you're going to speak about at the conferences? Yeah, we, uh, what we did is we asked what are, if I could do three 90 minute sessions on topics that would have the greatest impact on local churches, what would they be? So we took the, we said, you know, leadership is critical, lay and clergy. And so 90 minutes of the talk is just fundamentals of leadership, leadership 101 with stories and, and tactical ideas. The second is, you know, if churches have more vibrant worship and preaching, that'll really help. And so I try to teach about how can we uh, improve our worship? How can we help people experience God's presence? And then how can we help them more effectively preach? And then the last session is to, to help uh, leaders, lay and clergy, to be more intentional about reaching out to their communities, and then I teach them how to do how to do follow up on first time visitors, and and uh, and then finally, what does it mean to be United Methodist, and and so those three same topics I share all across the connection, and uh, hopefully, you know, it's inspiring and helping people. Yeah, you did share many great anecdotes and stories, but one that I think is really applicable and easy for other churches to replicate is about the shower tags that you give out for graduation ceremonies and also baptisms. Can you share a little bit about that? Sure, absolutely. So uh, what I do in the, in the shower tags is we prepared a little plastic card that has a little uh, kind of like a plastic string on it. It goes in the shower, and I want to encourage people to remember their baptisms, that every morning when they wake up, uh, they would uh, they would remember their baptism, so they pray this prayer. Uh, Lord, as I enter the shower or enter the bath to, to uh, let's see, how does it begin? Lord, as I enter the water to bathe, I remember my baptism. Wash me by your grace, fill me with your spirit, and renew my soul. I pray that I might live as your child today and honor you in all that I do. And what we, I preached a sermon on baptism first, and we handed these out to everyone after church, and I just said, if you pray this prayer every morning when you're in the shower, you start your day remembering you're a child of God, and you offer your life to Christ. And then since that time, we give these to every graduate uh, when they graduate from high school and say, take this and hang it in your dorm room shower and remember every day when you shower, I belong to God. I, I know I'm not living at home anymore and I'm away from home, but even here in the dorm, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. And, and so you start your day praying and dedicating your life to him. And we think it matters. It makes a difference in people's lives. Well, thank you so much for sharing your words of wisdom. And I want to um, encourage anybody to check out my blog at susquehannaexpress.blogspot.com and I will have some links of how you can find out more about Pastor Adams um, ministries and how you can learn more about his church. Thank you.